Standing at 7 foot 2 with a 7 foot 5 wingspan, Kai Soto is one of the more intriguing basketball prospects out there. Soto has made it his goal to become the first Philippine-born NBA player ever, and he has the offensive package to make that dream into a reality. But there is something holding him back. So let's take a look at if Kai Soto has what it takes to make it in the NBA. Who is Kai Soto? Kai Soto is a Filipino professional basketball player who hopes to be the first homegrown Filipino NBA player. He was born in Las Pinas, Philippines on May 11, 2002. His father, Irvin Soto, played basketball professionally in the Philippine Basketball Association. Kai began playing basketball when he was four years old, and maybe he knew he was going to be tall, as his father is six foot seven and his mother is six foot one. But we doubt he ever imagined that he'd end up being seven foot two. It's no wonder he idolizes players like Tim Duncan and Kristaps Porzingis, as he has a similar build to these great players. Soto attended the Ateneo de Manila High School and led his team to a UAAP Basketball Championship titled Juniors Division and was named in the Finals MVP as he averaged 17 points, 13 rebounds, and 6.3 blocks per game. Next season, Soto averaged 25.1 points, 13.9 rebounds, and 2.6 blocks per game and earned UAAP Juniors MVP honors. After this, Soto decided to take his talents across the world and try his luck in America, Kai's journey leading up to the NBA draft. In March of 2019, Soto left Ateneo and moved to the United States in an attempt to advance his basketball career. He joined the Skill Factory, a preparatory program located in Atlanta, Georgia. In his American debut, Soto recorded 18 points and 12 rebounds. He would end up playing so well that he was named the MVP of the King Invitational Tournament, and in that tournament, Soto averaged 27 points, 10.6 rebounds, 4.3 blocks, and 3 assists. Despite being a four-star recruit and having several off from NCAA Division I colleges, Soto decided to forego his college eligibility and join the NBA G League Ignite. I didn't really know a lot of things about college recruitment because uh, in the Philippines I was still at the 10th grade so I wasn't really like focused on any college but when I came here you know I, I just got a little shocked that things are happening so fast and uh, I just have to be ready for it. However, due to the pandemic, Soto ended up leaving the Ignite without playing a single game for the team. Instead, he decided to go pro and signed a three-year deal with the Australian League team Adelaide in the NBL. He posted 7.5 points on 49.6% shooting, 4.5 rebounds, and 0.8 blocks in over 15 minutes through 23 games. Soto finished the season strong where he averaged 11.6 points on 52.6% shooting along with 4.2 boards and 1.2 blocks. He even splashed in double-digit scoring in three of those contests. After this successful year with Adelaide, Soto declared for the 2022 NBA draft in the hopes of becoming the first Filipino-born and raised player to make the NBA. Why didn't Kai get drafted? The 2022 NBA draft took place at Barclays Center in Brooklyn, New York. There, players like Paolo Bencaro, Chet Holmgren, and Jabari Smith Jr. were selected with the first three picks. It was Soto's hope that he would be a late first round or early second round pick. Prior to the draft, Soto worked out with the Magic, the New York Knicks, the Sacramento Kings, and the Indiana Pacers. However, during draft night, the young Filipino star would go undrafted. So this raised the question of why no team took a chance on a 7'2 center with a wingspan of 7 feet and 5 inches. On top of that, Soto has a unique combination of shot-blocking ability and scoring from outside the arc. But it seems that his strength and athleticism held Soto back. Scouts reported that Soto's body did not correspond to the NBA for now. Soto seemed to have an issue with his lateral movement and a slow first step. Without these two things, attacking the rim effectively makes it extremely difficult, which as a 7'3 center is supposed to be a big part of your game. However, despite the slow first step and lateral movement, Soto has shown the ability to get buckets. He averaged almost 8 points per game in the NBL while only playing 17 minutes a night. After going undrafted, Soto's belief in himself and his ability wasn't shaken. As he said, the dream is always the NBA, so I always have to do whatever it takes to get better and get stronger and to improve. My development is always number one priority. I'm only 20 years old, so I still have a lot of room to grow and develop and improve. So this next step, I really have to think about it with my family. We didn't get to plan A, but we got plan B. And yeah, it's not going to stop me to keep on going. Plan B was to head back to the ABL and improve his game. Recent gameplay and improvement. Soto is currently playing for the Adelaide 36ers and was part of the squad that made history recently. During the NBA preseason, the 36ers faced off with the Phoenix Suns, which included superstars like Devin Booker and Chris Paul. It seemed like a foregone conclusion that the Suns would easily defeat the 36ers as a visiting team hadn't beaten an NBA team since 2015. But the 36ers pulled off a huge upset by defeating the Suns 134 to 124. In that game, Soto racked up 11 points in 18 minutes and had two rebounds, two steals, and one assist to his overall tally. Currently, Soto is determined to become physically stronger, gain more experience, and improve technically because Soto has the size to dominate. What does Kai's future hold? 
The modern NBA relies heavily on the three ball. Every team is essentially looking for a big that can stretch the floor and protect the rim. Players like Miles Turner and Jaron Jackson Jr. are prime examples of that. And perhaps the phenom, Victor Wembanyama, is the future of the big man position. Victor is over 7 feet 2 and can shoot the three ball like a guard while protecting the rim like Rudy Gobert. Now of course, not every team can have Victor, but there are players available who are a level or two below him. And that is where Kai Soto can excel. He has a 7 foot 5 wingspan combined with great shooting mechanics and a very soft touch around on the rim. As teams move away from slow and unathletic bigs, they are still seeking rim protection. Soto had some nice blocks throughout his short runs on the court in the NBL. Not to mention the number of shots he deflected with his presence. While the 36ers only allowed 0.72 points per possession for the ball handler, his size had a major impact on the court. While on the offensive side of things, it's hard to miss a rolling 7'2 giant, so he's a constant alley-oop threat with his incredible size and length. He is also a big target for lob passes, and the modern NBA relies heavily on the pick and roll, in which Soto scored a solid 1.17 points per possession. Soto also shot 35% from the 3 on 14 attempts, so he definitely has the skill set that modern NBA is looking for, but he does have to make improvements in some areas of his game. First of all, he has to add muscle and strength. He has a tough time moving other players in the paint, which is reflected in his 0.68 points per possession. On top of that, to really stand out, you need to be able to play make, even if it's just a little. However, Soto has finished with a negative assist to turnover ratio so far, with 32 turnovers and only 14 assists. But the good news is that all these things can be worked on and improved upon, plus age is on Soto's side. He is only 20 years old with some elite skills, and every NBA team once. He is yet to fully grow into his body, so strength should come naturally. So if he can learn to play defensive without getting into foul trouble and become a slightly better passer, it wouldn't be surprising to see a team take a shot at Kai Soto and see if they can truly maximize his potential. If you enjoyed this video, then please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell beside it so that you're notified the next time we upload a new video. And with that being said, you just watched us break down whether or not Kai Soto has what it takes to make it to the NBA. We'll see you next time.